How is it going? I am going to probably be doing small, simple, short videos like this uh, going forward on little tricks that I learn uh, along the way. Uh, it'll help me, you know, go back and figure out what I did. Plus, it hopefully will help you while doing things. Now, there's not a lot of source modelers that I know that use Maya, but uh, a trick that no one seems to know or didn't know when I was having problems was you need to you you need to set your global um, at, up axis to Z instead of the default Y. Why is that? Because it's fine when you're making static props because you can go out there and you can do it, and then in your QC file you can put you know dollar sign up axis Y, and your models will come in fine. But if you're doing bone merge props that are bound to a reference mesh that's in the correct up axis position, then it's going to be coming in weird like mine was there um, in the neck or if I added a bone it was you know a bone from the head bone up to that it'd be out here you know so it was all wrong so what I learned was yes you can change up axis and Y or up axis in uh, Maya and to do that all you have to do is go to your window uh, drop down you want to go to setting the preferences preferences and I I would exp I would hope you would uh, look in hear these these things for you know see if there's something you would like to play with because there's a lot of options there and this is where you want to change your up axis now it's going to show Y as your default um, and then it'll go to Z you know you change the Z and uh, that from now on out as long as it's set like that it'll it'll uh, put out your model, you'll, you'll be creating your models in the right axis, and you'll have to do any kind of QC file coding. Uh, there's no weirdness with where, how it's working in Maya, and it kind of doesn't work in, in, in SFM. None of that stuff, because it's all right. Um, and you would hit save and close it. Now, <clears throat> another thing I would tell you is that uh, doing bone mergeable props while we're on the topic is you place the bone merge you pay, place the, the mesh where you don't, before you bind it to the, the bone you want to place it where you want it to be and then you'll see once you placed it you'll see that you have a translate well, I don't have it here because I've already done what I needed to do but you'll see like value here value there just weirdness well that's gonna probably not be really good when you export it out so what you can do is get it to where you want it to be and then you want to freeze transformations by selecting the model going to modify freeze transformations now it'll it should hopefully uh do see what you see here the zero 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 and then the scales are all one now you may have like a locked one let me see if i can lock it or freeze Uh, yeah, okay. Well, you would go out there and you would say unlock uh, selected. If oh, There we go. So you, you can't change this, right? It's grayed out. You would go over here, right-click it, and um, as you see, it's selected it, selected it, and you would go to uh, unlock, you know. And then you would freeze it, and it should result in that. So once you do that, you can go ahead and go, you know, select your head bone and select your mesh. I've already done this, but, you know, your standard just uh, animation, skeleton, uh, skin, smooth bind. That'll just create the basic skin. Then you, you would go in there to the, uh, I'm sorry, I'm jumping all around, the paint skin weight tool or the interactive bind, however you want to do it. Uh, and you would, you know, make sure the horn is fully weighted, uh, painted to the head bone and nothing else is and then you would do the rest for the export so that's all you really need to know it's it's not that hard of a process uh, but it'll save you a lot of frustration if you go ahead and set that up access to Z uh, otherwise you'll have problems mm -hmm.